Hello, I'm Dan, this is Ghost One Gaming. Uh, welcome. Welcome to tonight's uh, installment of, of doing a bit of painting. Uh, and I bought a Wish airbrush for you. So, um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Obviously, I'm, I'm going to check for you. Quite a bit. There are all the parts um, that you see. Exactly what we've got. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Oh, look. Um, I've gone for the gold version. Uh, of mixed. That's all. So, uh, so yeah. So it's uh, pretty standard looking. We've got screw on top. That'll probably never get used again. Um, yeah. Port. The uh, he basically uh, with what? Um. Do what? What we get out of it? Uh, obviously, there will be uh, a bit of compressor noise in the background. So yeah, nothing really I could do about that. Um, I'm just gonna go in straight away. So it's it's a pretty standard right um, system. So push, push down. Yeah, push back to release the. Paint. It seems to be like really kicking out some juice. So oh, this will be interesting. I think there's like the needles, uh, a bunch of chunky in there. This was my like workhorse brush. It just came with the um, uh, the compressor's kit I got when I first started airbrushing and died in there. That's in a good while, but. Uh, yeah, meanwhile, this was, uh, this was in the post from uh, China from Wish, so. I feel like I might need to, I need to start with something. Um, obviously, as usual, you always want to put in a bit of, a bit of a swirl around early. Big cup. Like, I'm liking, I'm liking it so far. I'm going to put in... Titan blue from the Mecha range. If is it too bad? This is this is, is workable. Start. So yeah, mix up a little bit. You'll see like. Uh, painters will just want to pre mix. Have that. So, first test is it's just rain, uh, just air, which is a good sign. It's not like it completely defunct. Um, it's really blasting out there. So, I'm start pulling back on the nozzle. Yeah, it's like a. This is pretty decent. Good for, good for a glove on and start painting some stuff. Um, yeah, I was. <laughs> my my good brush is my Sotar. My Sotar 20, my Badger Sotar 2020 is uh, not a cheap airbrush, but it's like it's lovely ideas and stuff. But yeah, you, you don't want to use it to be priming stuff, really. You don't want to use big areas. Uh, and I was just like, well, as my old one's on the way out, he's going to grab some models. I figured. Yeah. All of choice. Like, yeah, this is, uh, why not, uh, why not take a, take a gamble? This is, this is what it is. We do, we have been painting a nettle in it, but, um, this is an example of, Like, there's decent, like, control and stuff on this. Yeah, this is... I, I'm, like, reasonably impressed so far. Uh, I don't know, I just, I just picked it up. But, uh, we're gonna do... a bit of, uh... like, basic painting. The yeah, it works out. Like, right now, this... I, I've just taken it out of the box, so... 
it could be that like a week lose time that becomes problems. But right now, this this seems like the goodness of a really good workhorse brush. Um, like good control, the airflow is really strong. Like feels like my PSI higher than it is. I don't know if that's like something that I'll end up looking at and adjusting. Uh, and when I use this brush in particular to uh, lower it, maybe. Uh, we'll, we'll see. This is the, the darker blue on the top here on the edges of the wings. Uh, progress towards the middle. Like all these uh, like veiny parts. Uh, like the trigger control is pretty good. This is this is definitely like a surprise. So one of um, one of my locals um, said he did all in one like some time ago, um, and it was it was it was fine. But like you're like yeah, I've also got fine stuff like that all the time. From far away, and, and, you, and you actually get it. Like, well, it's kind of okay, right? I'm pretty impressed with it. So, so that the trigger control's good. The that's the, the flow of getting the air out and the, the paint mix is good. The the trigger, I guess, is going to be check it's not clogging, and uh, it's just not going to like shut down really quickly or really easily. Um, right now, as uh, as it goes for getting like the bulk of a chunk of work done, as you can see, yeah, there's a bit of spectrum there. We'll get towards the uh, ready. Yeah, this is this is pretty pretty damn good. This. This could be okay. This could be like a really good buy. Um, so, this I think this cost fifteen pounds. I mean, UK cost fifteen pounds. Maybe it's taken about. Let's be uh, spraying of my own user error there. Uh, maybe it's taken like three weeks to get here. Um, but like honestly, like. I'm I'm okay with that. So this is this is over here where I've I've made that. That's me uh, pulling. Have a look. Is that no? Yes. If you, if I'm if I'm holding it flat, completely flat still, um, it's just the flow of air. Uh, in the back, even a slight amount. I really need to get the paint flow, which is good. Yeah, this is this is definitely a surprise win for Bush. <laughs> like when when you want something, you're like, well, this, this is what I'm saying now, right? So, End of March. Uh, if come halfway through uh, next month, I'm like, right, I need to buy a new airbrush. We know there's no like longevity, but like, as as just for basic. Um, but you you've, you've got like a workhorse brush has died, or you're looking at sweet different things. And I don't get much wrong with this right now. Like this is this is decent, right? This is just like basics, basics of airbrushing. Been around, obviously. This is all this is all um, uh, pre-primed and stuff, right? Uh, this bottom section is meant to be a bunch darker to the shadow. Right, by the way, does mean it's harder to see, obviously, as well.
You'll see the tank going on. Beats as well. Definitely no way. The problems with getting it out. Looking good, like if as if you've got like a you know a, this is definitely a, a big improvement on the, like the the bog standard brush that came with my kit. So I bought a compressor like four years ago, maybe maybe more. Than that. Um, I basically just um went for it. Uh, I bought Sotar. Uh, to be like one of the, the Badger happy birthday cells, but you know, um, and who's uh, the owner of Badger. Uh, and I actually did it this year, I did something this year. Uh, basically, on his birthday, go into the like the code, sign up to whoever, and get any of the Badger lines. Badger, the number of years he's just made up to. Like, yeah. My Sota was like you know, sixty dollars. <laughs> Ain't bad. Um, but this, this is the start of uh, that's something beautiful. Um, yes, yeah, so this is this is really cool. So we're just doing um, the, the the very basics, the very first passes on this uh, Legion of Light model. The uh, lighted. Leader of White, so it's Dragon Sports, which is a, a, a Nephilim. No, not a Lephilim. A, a Seraph. Seraph, because it's got the straight tail, and a Nera, which is what threw me a second ago, and Nera has got a coiling tail. They're very similar. Aesthetically, I've got nothing left. Pretty much nothing. Yeah, there's a. Uh... That's not bad, like, for, uh, for what I expected, I, I, I worried maybe, might not be the greatest. That's to know. Okay, we're going to pick up uh, another log. I'm put a top up in here. Let's get... so I guess this has turned from, uh, should I buy, what's the paint we just did? Um, should I buy? Oh, an airbrush for Wish. Um, fifteen dollars. I think. I, I think I, I ordered like some other bits of bobs for which for for modeling. Forty two. I think my my postage like three. basically eighty. Well, I was like, well yeah, probably gonna cost me a chunk more than that. Uh, I do it the other way. Here we go. So this is uh, the Archon. Lighted Archon. Again. All these raised areas covered. A lot of good textures in the wings. Like proper ragged, almost as if like the mutation of the elf got the all right burst out. Definitely, definitely happy to carry these. This, um, yeah. He, you don't want to use like a detailed brush, like with a like, little tiny point in the middle to do this sort of big flat areas of flatness over these big broad areas of models. Um, definitely don't want to use it for, for priming. You have to go. What we're looking at. Now a little look of. Uh, More precision. Precision. For the pin. This is going to be like a little bit trickier. I would. Imagine. 
Look how how fast it's coming out. I'm being very very uh, light here on my fingers. Like this is this is this is bad by any means. Like there's a good amount of control here, although it feels like it's sort of coming out strong. I'm not, I'm not really using much like um, how how well I be able to control it compared to if the soda I will see it's a lot. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to finish off like seven screen again. Uh, I'm not planning to be on uh, very long, scientifically. Um, I've been uh, in a course this week. So I'm going to do a bunch of prep. Which is uh, the price of having the kids. Uh, for, um, sort of for uh, entertaining them while I'm doing essentially doing working from home tomorrow. It's good. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy with it. It's like quite good control wise. Didn't like the flow, not having any problems. Out there, it's hard to tell. It's going blue. My face. His ears. Yeah, this is like definitely a very positive surprise. Um, and yeah, I'm a little bit careful. Um, just as, I, as I'm like finding the exactly how much I'm about for a, for a quick and easy uh, blast. Like, happy enough with that. Let's do zeros, wings, and stuff while we're here. So, <laughs> hello, buddy. Uh, yeah, I, I fight. So this, this is. Did, did, you, did you catch how much this? This is my fifteen dollar airbrush. And this is just going on like a treat. Um, you won't lie. No, no real concerns. No real problems. Yeah, me and uh, this is how the zero looks. I wish his wings were so close together. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I'm really impressed. Like for especially the price point, I, I I was looking at and going, do I need to buy like you know fancy mid range like a workhorse brush? It's blowing away my papers. Like, I can't. Um. Yeah, so I was like, do I, yeah, do I need to uh, invest in a bit more UT for other stuff? But I'm like, this, this is doing the job. This is doing the job. This is uh, a little bit heavy handed there. But that, that's, that's me rather than the brush being heavy handed, where I think she needs to like, find. Find the sweet spot exactly how far I want to push the limit to the brush. Like, that seems pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna do some of his skin while we're here. But 
but yeah this is um for, for like a 15 to 20 dollar investment wait this is this is coming out really nice um absolutely shockingly <laughs> like i can't lie i am shocked but yeah this is coming out Blow paint's good the strength of it's good Uh, yeah, the, the controls all there. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not like just uh, spraying and then it's just like flooding out like a nightmare coming out in control burst as I'm wanting it to. Uh, PS5 is like a, like a uh, 20. Uh, yeah, it, it, in fact, not adjusted it since uh, since you were here. This is, this is literally as as I paint it normally. Uh, inky uh, hue on uh, the wings, like the flesh parts of it. I'm not gonna do it, but here's the um, here was the, here was the first test, right? Here was the first test was uh, this. Uh, Seraph. Uh, just doing like a quick once over, just getting like a bit of blend on the wings. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. I will not lie. Terry, nice to join us, buddy. I'm painting other people. <laughs> the STR army, you bet me, right? Typically, I'm painting someone else's, but not mine. Uh, I'm saying that I I I think, I'm not sure right. But if you watched it all, uh, we graded uh, me, me Ben and we graded all the War Machine factions, um, War Machine horse factions, let's say. Uh, and we 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 ended up with a of a controversy as we had quite a few S tiers at the end of it. But um. As I said on social media afterwards, we kind of um, rephrased it with this is this is what we're calling S tier. This is why we're calling them actually quite the meta. Um, some factions I to talk people up on sometimes. I try to talk people down. Um, I didn't really fight for Legion. Like, I think Legion does have some horrifically strong options right now. Um, are they S tier? I don't know. Tell me. You tell me, are they S tier? Look at this. It's like 10, 15. Can't, can't knock what this, uh, this airbrush is, is bashing out. Like I, I had, I had, I had great plans to do a bunch of other stuff, and I'm like, do I just, do I just crack on? Reference points. Yeah, I think yeah, that's that's the thing as well, right? So the, so the. We gave the criteria, and it was basically like a, these, these are things that are not prepared for, will crush you. Um, and it's not just like the, the A tier then being a very, very strong, you know, probably got to think about these actions. Um, and the fact that, yeah, Legion, you're not prepared for Lilith 4, expect to get smashed out of whatever tournament you're at and shit you. You're not prepared. Can, if you have casually. Brought, like you know a, lo a lot same as Bethane too right if you're prepared for it and you you've brought this, this 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 army that's full of all these tricks and um tools line up how it goes first and you know pop one's forward harry pops out the streaming next thing you know your super key solos or models all dead what you even 
is going to cause some problems. <laughs> so. Absolutely, absolutely is going to cause some problems. Uh, we're going to put some uh, some of the virtue hosts uh, up on the table. We'll get some painting on these guys. Then. Uh, so there's a big old chunk of them. That's an eye switch, not a virtue host. These are all virtue hosts. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I think Legion. Um, what while I'm painting Legion, what what do, what do I think we got? Uh, I think Bethane, Bethane two. Certainly, there's an argument. Bethane one are both randomly strong casters. They both the ST. I don't know about Beth one. Just because I've not played, played her or against her in this duration of the game. But I played her in Mark 2 a bunch. Um, whereas I've definitely seen how strong Beth 2 still can be in a very different way. You know, six months ago. I think they're at least a very, very good. Like I said, they're very, very good to put on the table. Yeah. Zoom in and count. Um, but are they are they the top? No, because the other four now exist. I think she undisputedly we at the top of the uh, Legion era. Um, it's a little bit like when uh, when Gully Two came out, right? Kelly 2 came out and had some lines. Kelly 2 came out and got Ansem probably fucked. Same with, uh, with uh, like, your, your caster has got like, you know, pretty weedy stats. Um, you just sort of pop up and from literally half a board away, if you're not prepared, especially if you're a, a war machine caster, so you can't transfer, you've got to just so good. Um, that's that's not good for you, right? Uh, no, you can't have a shield. You can't have a stealth. Yeah. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, sorry. It's um, it'll be the the filter. The filter's there to like try to remove background noise, like there's a washing machine on something in the background. It maybe is a little bit too strong. Let me make an, make an adjustment. My voice is proper croaky today, though. I'm like, welcome, welcome to War Machine. What we got? We got. If I just put the noise suppression level down, and the noise. Hopefully, that's a bit better. Let me know. Oh. Yeah, I think uh, definitely. In our no slackers. Um, so, as far as this brush goes, he's like a, I'm like the smaller areas. So I'm trying to really careful, like overspray. Like, even like it's just a bit of control, as like a, like a workhorse brush, I still get like. I swear, one of the guys are uh, not too far from me. I probably know, he's probably in your Legion chat, Bradbury. See them soon enough. Uh, a bit behind where I wanted to be, mainly because training course sprung on me, but. Uh, do you, want, do you want to go do this training course? Beggars can't be cheap. Perks? Yeah. A, la a laptop. Go in. in. A laptop, a bunch of qualifications. Or digital course. Uh, what is it? I'm now a qualified mental health. I don't know why. Um, yeah. 
bit of them. This, this, this does seem good, like, yeah, this is a little bit of Rose Ray. A bit where maybe I could have a, a bit more control, but. Or for a brush that's invented it. And worse. Let me amend. Let me amend. Probably. Probably filtered it. Yeah, no. Okay. This has just been testing it now. Testy, testy. Am I, am I back with you? Better or worse? Nearer or far? <laughs> you tell me, sir. You tell me, boys. How's that sound? Is that sound any better? While I uh, just blast through the basics of these, uh, these are ladies. Are you hearing me? Okay. Yeah, hope it's not too bad. Um, maybe better. Maybe. Like I said, I wasn't I wasn't planning to do a great deal tonight. Um I'm kind of like oh, I've mixed up the, 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 the paint. Sounds good. It's probably just Terry. Terry just lives in the sticks. Same as me. <laughs> I do love living in the sticks though. I had a, a bit of conversations this week about that. And I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't know if I want to, if I am staying here or coming back down, back to the homeland. Who knows what the future is for me, but oh, that's a bit, that was a bit me being a bit heavy handed, but all, all little tiny touches that can be fixed up. This is just there. It's just base coating here. An ear coat in for the back of these uh, these beasties. Yeah, I, I can't quite like the uh, the virtue hosts. I can't lie. I don't like the champions at all with their swords. But like you know, no one, including Doug Hamilton, likes them. Um. Cool, cool. But there we go. Yeah, I, I, I just I moved the slider the wrong way then, so I, I, I blotted out more sound rather than less sound. Um, yeah, I, I kind of like uh, like the nod to uh, to Absalonia. Who's the army for? Uh, Bradbury. He'll be in, he'll be in the Legion chat, right? Is that still active? Do you still uh, the, the, the secret blighted collective? Long ago, long ago, I was one of you. I still got like my own Legion, just like. Not much of it. Uh, what have I got? I like probably actually got maybe like a handful of casters left still. I've definitely got Thagros too. I saw him the other day. I've definitely got some beasts. <laughs> probably got loads of shredders. Probably just loads. I've always had loads of shredders. I wasn't one like Luke to just run them, but just casually when I bought whenever I bought like a second hand lot of Legion. It always comes with shredders. So slowly, the, like the shredder numbers just grew and grew. <laughs> See, look at that. It's a good legacy, right? Of, of, of us. Uh, us putting time in, especially like when the bunch of us were. Well, before podcasts, I guess, right? Podcasts were really thing in the UK at the time. We do a lot more uh, blogging. Clinging on for tw and twins chat. Oh, I just, I just, uh, I just couldn't, I just couldn't bring myself to stay. Uh, you know, when I, when I was like, these guys are going. It's like I've got too, too many chats to, to either mute or to ignore. It's just uh, clear out, clean break sometimes, right, guys? But yeah, um, pff, as far as this brush goes, so it's all like pretty, pretty basic stuff, right? The, the quality coming out, not a problem. We've got no clogs so far, no flow problems. And so and I can show you. So we're still dishing out just air when he wants to. A little bit of trigger. I'm getting like a good amount of control. This air is a fucking wow. 
it's gold. It's gold. Yeah, I'm on uh, my house LOA models. Uh, ooh, who's next? Who's getting painted? Let's put some wings more wings on the go, shall we? Let's get some wings splattered before we got while we got some more paint in the tin. Um, get towards like the bottom end here, but. Definitely one of the things that I would not say. You gamble, right? Whenever you buy something um, from certain sites out there in the world, you know, this isn't sponsored by anything. It's sponsored by me having some spare time tonight. Um, but like, yeah, this is this is like as as workhorse brushes go, as something that's going to do like the bog standard. Uh, I was talking to one of my old laugh buddies earlier, who started to paint the first models in like fifteen years. I don't know, it's like, remember, it's like they were introduced to uh, our Lord and Savior the airbrush. He's like, no, too much for me. And like, is it? Is it too much? Like, yeah, get like a getting basically exactly what I want out of this brush. Like, I'm really, I'm really impressed. Um, it's, it's not gonna like you know do everything I want. So to be able to get like all of the details, but like it's definitely gonna get to do a bunch of shit I want. Like even if you do like the, the most basic stuff, right? Even if you do just a bit of priming, uh, just a bit, or just a bit of base coating, or a bit, yeah, then you're gonna just save yourself hours, days, years of your life. Where you could be like, oh, you know, got this many models to do, can't bring myself to do it, and then you're like, well, what if you say I brushed it? Sounds like uh, one of those videos, right? <laughs> what if you just airbrushed it? Like, have have I just base coated all of the skin on this Archon while I've told you that? Yes, I have. Oh, yes, I have. I'll put a bit more, some of more stronger tones on the raised bits of muscle on the top of the legs, on the foot here. On this, the biceps, the, the face, the face and the neck. So done. Next, like, like yeah. If if you want to use an airbrush, um, buy a cheap compressor. Now, no, Luke on here was was trying to tell me I should be buying a bigger, a more expensive compressor, and. I'm, I'm sure there are times you want to, but um, I'm on a budget. I am a single dad, so I buy I buy what I need to. And it turns out what I need is a cheap compressor kit, uh, a fifteen buck uh, gold comes in other colors. I think came in like red and. Maybe blue as well. Um, uh, yeah, uh, buy a fifteen dollar brush from Wish, and away with you. And you know, if it's pissing outside, do your priming. If it's snowing, do your priming. Um, but like, you you can just do this. Just do your, your base coats, like so. Pick up all these like. Just big chunky areas, and then pick up your pick up your actual brush. I'm just doing a bit more, a bit stronger color on the bottom of these claws. It might get blended into something else. But, um, but yeah, we're gonna. Point is, we're gonna get to it. Yeah, there's. 
there's so little. Actually, my 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 my, my, my um my compressor isn't like a it's from like a cheap from China. It's like it was like it's like I don't know sixty eighty dollars for like the, the compressor and like a bunch of cleaning stuff. Um, so it's not like it's a, like a piece of shit or I, I'm expecting it to break down. It, it, it's never stopped for me. Um, so I'm kind of happy with it, certainly for now. But let me, let me see if I can uh, get the camera a little bit closer for this. Is it gonna, oh, sorry, I'll just change the focus or lock the focus. Mm. If I put the, how is that looking? A little bit better. Okay. So, if you look at this spell marker, obviously there's not huge amounts of different um, skin tones going on. We've got the claws at the bottom, a little bit heavier at the bottom of these claws. Just a little bit lighter on the spray around his torso and his arms. I have to excuse the, uh, the angle as I'm zoomed in. Everything's sliding away. Can just like slowly ease off on the brush of this the head. A little bit of blue going in. But anyway, it's definitely, 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 definitely to a level where if you want just something to start with or just something to do the basics with, you could, you can save yourself at the moment a lot of hike. A lot, of, a lot of wallet hate, <laughs> ache and pain, and uh, yeah, get one of these, uh, get one of these back toys out of wish. Um, obviously, in a week or two's time, I can have a look. I've got the benefit of having um, uh, Luke's, you Luke kind of pushed me the other day, and we've got a, a solid cleaner, um, so that'll help. Um, and just generally, like, just good maintenance is like the big thing. But it's the good is the big thing on like any airbrush. Um but like here we go, this is like just trying to show you. Like this there's a, a pretty good level of control here. Like I got, I got no complaints. Um, I am certainly considering my 15 bucks well spent. Hello, hello. We're a bit close, aren't we now? I know we're friendly, but let's be a bit more uh, like that. But yeah, um, obviously, you know, there is advantage to getting some of the the high spec kit, um, you know, this, this isn't going to compare to the Sotar when I want to do something really small and detailed and I want to have that real super fine control. But when I'm like just painting some idiot skin, it's going to be fine. When I'm doing you know, a tank, it's going to be better. Um, so, yeah, plenty of good things to look at with this to go but yeah there's a lot of advantages to spending a few dollars but like i, th I think i think a lot of people that, that have airbrushes you i think that the, the common thing is people use them to basically just do massive stuff right so let's go like oh, I'll, I'll prime my models from my airbrush um, be it because of where they live or just for ease um, or they'll do like you know 
see really in tanks. But yeah, it's not not too hard to learn to uh, just put a little bit more finesse into it and get out some some really handy work. All right, but yeah, we are uh, running down, running down what's in the, the pot uh, and running out of models that really know what's going on them right now without, the, without my reference pictures to hand. But yeah, this is, this is like, yeah, as far as, let's do a quick clean through. Maybe that, maybe that'll help. Or maybe that will, uh, Show me if I'm doing anything right or wrong. So, and look at look at this. It's just like okay, now it's just water. But it's like spray through a lot of the crap. Got rid of it. I'm lucky that in uh, where I paint, I've got a sink. So I can you know, whack in the uh, the airbrush cleaner. So you got to flow back. And we're, we're back to just spray through water. Yeah, I can't fault it, right? I am, I'm officially like, what the hell? Fifteen dollars, well spent. Um, like, yeah, that, that's that's a really good job. Um, this couple things it doesn't have. Uh, like it doesn't have like a a cap to to go with a needle uh, to protect it. Like that, the could could have could have had that. Probably instead of one of the random bits, like the pipette in there. Where was the box? The box up here. Like, do I need the pipette? No. Do I need a tiny? Like, no, no. Yeah, give me, give me a cover to like just a pl hollow plastic cover to protect any day. Yeah, yeah. Nick, when you told me about this, right? That this is this mega airbrush cleaner that burns your lungs i'm like i'm happy with my little vallejo airbrush cleaner and my pot i spray it into so mostly it's not in my life especially today when i'm like i'm like uh apparently um uh, everyone's cutting their grass and it is uh it is definitely being inhaled by me today <laughs> but yeah so uh yeah so if you uh if you were interested in seeing how, um, in how the the wish airbrush went, the answer is pretty pretty damn good. Uh, yeah, I'd definitely be using it again. Um, no regrets, no problems there. I'll be uh, blasting through a bunch of uh, well, at the moment, these are blind models, and then I've got. Big old, big old stack of retribution, which is my own army. Uh, but I've got a bunch of other things. Um, I think it might be getting like a Bushido um, bunch in to paint for someone else. And I've got a bunch of, there's lots of bunches. I've got um, some, uh, some Age Sigma and some 40k stuff. Uh, but it's just things that I want to paint, um, but I'll probably paint and then sell. Like, um, got, like a lot of change. I did a lot of change when I started Age Sigma like a couple of years ago. As it started, I still only had like probably like a dozen games, um, but I want to go back and spend a bit more than like the three hours I spent to, to put it on the competition table, um, and do like some really nice blending and like then do some brush work on top to, to bring it out. Race you, well, you say that like <laughs> at the weekend, um, I took I took a list at the weekend. I did do very well. Uh, it was Sherwood. Um, but I, my intention was I wanted to basically just play the one, the fancier list I had, just to see if it was viable. Um, so there was, wasn't a lot of stuff on my table at all. Like, 
My model count for both my armies is really low. Um, I got an event this weekend. I might, I have switched some things around. Uh, so I might play uh, a different version of Fancy or I might play a different, uh, like slightly different build within the same theme. But yeah, model wise, not a lot, not a lot at all. Um, I need to get working on my tridents as well in case I take them, but yeah, absolutely. So yeah, so yeah, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump off. I've got some other shit to do, but yeah, thanks for the folks for coming to join me, guys. And uh, yeah, turns out, take a gamble, have a wish, and uh, get yourself a decent airbrush to, to see you through. I'll catch you later, guys. Bye bye. Peace. See you next time. Oh, um, we're back on Friday, I think, with Eric Swinson to talk about info, uh, talk about all goth. <gasps> Wait for him. Let's see.